Hi everyone, we are the Deep Vein Thrombosis Diagnostic Device Team, and this is our functional prototype video. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Min Vo and Evan Manley and Dr. Black for helping us with this project. This is an overview of our device as of right now. Um, right now we just have a breadboard, we have our Arduino connected to it, which connects to our EMG sensor. We also have our alert system, which is the LED light there. That is connected to our digital two output. The alert system works by having the LED light turn on once the EMG signals reach a certain threshold. So this is the device that we constructed and it has all the same components as the previous slide. So now we will show you the actual process of putting the device on. First, you start with an alcohol prep pad to clean the area that the sensors are going to be going on. So as you can see here, we're going to place the sensors on the upper arm. So we're cleaning the area and then we let it dry. And then now we're looking for a good spot for the electrodes to be placed. So as you can see where my finger is, there's a good muscle contraction happening there. And then you place the electrode pads onto the EMG facing outwards. And then you have to make sure you apply the EMG sensor with reference facing out. So now it's on the place where you could see a good contraction. So this is the process of actually hooking up the EMG wires. So we'll connect the green wire, which is ground to ground for both the Arduino and the EMG. The red wire is connected to the 5 volts on the Arduino, and then the V in for the EMG sensor, and then the yellow wire is connected to the A0, which is our input uh, analog value, and then that's connected to the V envelope. And then it's connected to the actual computer, which gives the Arduino and the EMG power. This is the testing for the alert system. Here Karina is contracting. And you can see that once she contracts and the EMG values are high enough, the LED light turns on. When she stops contracting, it turns off. So in order to conduct the blood pressure cuff test to see if an increase in blood pressure results in an increase in EMG readings, we applied the blood pressure cuff <clears throat> on my upper arm and increased the blood pressure and held it for about three minutes. As you can see here, these are my baseline readings before the blood pressure cuff has any influence on the EMG activity. Now, as you can see, the EMG activity has drastically increased with the increase in blood pressure. And then when we release the pressure from the blood pressure cuff, the baseline values return to normal. Thank you everyone for watching.